And good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Putty Mod YouTube channel. It is a Sunday morning and we're in the shop. And this is a 2007 Ford 8.8 .8 differential out of a Ford Exploder. A junkyard find, I should say. And this will be rebuilt and put together to go into an NC Miata. This is a uh, modular differential really, in a sense that it is used quite a bit in a lot of applications other than a Ford Explorer. So they go in S2000s, Miatas, hot rods, everything. You name the gamut, it's, it's in there. And uh, so this is what this one's gonna be going into. It's gonna be uh, repurposed, so to speak, into an NC Miata. Uh, I removed these two little nubs. These are casting nubs for when this thing is casted at the foundry. And uh, it just gives better clearance into the car. So those are gone already. As you can see, it's pretty cruddy. It's been cleaned up already, believe it or not, but it's gonna get cleaned up even better. This is the cover that's gonna be utilized. This is so it will mount into the car uh, without issue. We're using the Ford original coil bearings. We have a Ford 355 performance gear ratio sitting here, gear set. Ford axle seals, very, very expensive, these things, unbelievably expensive, like BMW uh, expensive kind of stuff. We have an Eaton True Track and various other parts to go in here. This is the old pinion. So let's get started getting this thing put together. So, Just a little FYI, I made a boo-boo. It is actually a 331, not a 355. I thought it was a 355. I thought that's what I heard, but no, it is a 331. I highlighted it so you could see it better on the video. But that's what we're doing. It's Ford Performance. Also, when you guys order these bearing kits, if you're going to order one and give it to me to do this job, get it with the correct bearing. This is the correct bearing. This is the incorrect bearing. This is the bearing that usually comes with 90% of all these kits, if not 99% of all these kits, because this bearing is very expensive and it's, you know, just a lot of money and they don't put them in the kit. That's why, so they can make the kit look really cheap. Then you find out why it's cheap because you end up with the, the wrong bearing. Also, they don't put the good seals in it. It's uh, usually an improper seal. So get the right kit for this rear end. It takes this large bearing, not this small one. This is actually for the 28 spline 8.8, .8, not this 31 spline 8.8. .8. So just be aware. This is a Coyo bearing, uh, Coyo USA. And there's a bearing number on here. And uh, that's the correct bearing. All right, let's get it cleaned up and uh, actually get it put together now. All right, we have our bearing pressed onto the pinion with the shim. Our cups, inner and outer, are both pressed into place. Got our sling washer ready to go. And this nut here has been modified so that we can take this rear on and off, you know, in and out several times over without messing up those threads on that pinion. Took that deformed end off there, that locking end, so that we can take this rear apart as many times as necessary to get it, you know, set up properly. I'm gonna mock this up and get it ready for the ring gear and LSD. And we're gonna see what we have for a pattern and go from there. Designated pushers for different rear ends. This is Ford Blue because it's a pusher for Ford's rear end. Okay, and we're back. Unfortunately, I got carried away and forgot to do any kind of videoing of what I was doing because uh, I'm just not used to making these videos so much. I mean, I've, I've made several of them already, but still getting acclimated to doing this stuff. But anyway, um, I've already got the setup. we got a great pattern on our 331 gear. 
I've got the bearings all pressed in. I do have some video on that. I'll, I'll share that, or if I haven't already in this video. Um, I got the pinion is set now, and this is our preload. And I wanna go ahead and show you guys that. And we're right at 20 inch pounds, okay? The max is like 29. You don't really want it that heavy. And 16 is on the light side. I think that's the magic number right there. All right, I'll continue on. I'll get the carrier back in and I'll show you guys the backlash and, uh, and then finish this job up. But before we do all that, I wanna go ahead and set the axle bearings and the seals because right now this thing is manageable. I can, I can walk around with it, it's not too bad. But once I put that carrier in it, oh man, does this thing really weigh? It's it's heavy as anything. Um, I didn't clean. I cleaned this thing up. I didn't restore it or anything. The the client really didn't want anything fancy done to it. It's just going into a track car. He didn't really care. So it's clean. You touch it, you won't get dirty or anything. But it it just doesn't look pretty. But all right, let's carry on with the job. New bearing. The axle here, we've got two of them to press in. Got pushing tool here. Seat it. There she goes. Flip it over to the next one. All right, there's our next new bearing. Always put the numbers on the outside because if you have to ever switch one of these bearings, at least you'll be able to identify it. If you put the identifying marks on the inside, then you'll, you'll never know. All right, get it centered here. Get seated. And push. Good. Alright, hold it. Yep, very nice. Perfect. Alright, on with the seals now. This here is a genuine Ford axle seal out of the Ford package. These things are extremely expensive. They're $70 a piece now. Uh, not to be confused with some internet aftermarket stuff. This is the real deal. Just finished applying this ARP grease to the threads of the bearing cap bolts. This will assure a proper torque setting and also lubricate the threads uh, to help prevent any kind of galling issues that might occur you know, going in and going out several times when you do an assembly. But this is really mainly for final torque specifications. So this has already been applied to our threads. And we're going to go ahead and put our carrier in now and uh, our bearing caps. Got it. Okay, we're going to show the backlash here on this setup. And we are right at seven thousands, consistent around the gear, seven, seven and a half. Came out really super good. So, got a great pattern. Go ahead and we'll. Spin it around the other way. And let me go ahead and move the camera here a little bit. And you can see 
see the pattern is dynamite on this thing. So, there we go, that's better. All right, so you got a really nice pattern all the way across the gear. Same on this side. This is our setup to put the indicator on. Since this is an aluminum rear end, it is not stick to it. So go ahead and put a clamp on it, and that makes it pretty easy as you can get your, your readings as you need it. All finished. I'm gonna put the cover on it now and uh, get it buttoned up and ready for the client to put in his Miata. All right, we're all finished. And this is it. The Ford 8.8. .8 set up for NC Miata. That's Orange Kitty, the shop kitty. Hello, shop kitty. Oh, good kitty. Star of the show right there. Well, there you have it. All buttoned up. Ready for action. Oh, good kitty. Well, you know what we always say. Next!